Mate 3S system display and controller. Live here at JW Solar US. This is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be replacing this Mate 3 to a Mate 3S with the outback power system live here at the JW Solar USA the command center these are all the outback product stay tuned like and subscribe and let's see what's gonna happen here it's a plug and play quick connect and um, put that display put this display out and put the other one in take this display out and put the other one in and just a quick plug and play system how everything is gonna look right here out of out back at the JW Solar USA this is a system 48 volt out back power with a flex max 80 uh, MPPT charge controller so let's go with the Outback FX 3048MT. Let's do it. Like and subscribe. Here is the declaration of conformity, conformity of the uh, Mate 3S system display control by Outback. Training manual, manual for the inform uh, for the Mate. Um, special guide a training guide so this is if you need this this is what you have to do and this is uh, all back address and contact if you have to contact them for anything and they will get back to you all right these are all back products and this is a brand new stuff and we got our tools here ready to go and take that guy out and replace it with this one here so this system here can work flawlessly live here at the JW Solar USA thanks for watching first of all we have to take this cover which is a magnet and um, we're gonna take the screws that already here okay Sit on the base and we just do your thing. You don't have to use a power tool to do this. I would not recommend that, but just for the sake of video, instead of doing the screwdriver, Phillips is gonna take a while for us to do. Stay tuned for this and uh, like I say, one hand operation. I'll get back to you soon. Alright guys, the Outback Mate is already out. This is the Mate 3 and we're going to be replacing it with a Mate 3S. It's a big or huge upgrade for a lot of you guys out there. For some people, this is just nothing. They just want their system to work the way it should. So, we... Here at the JW Solar USA, we just want our system to be up to date and running good for now and for the near future. These are all the wires. This is the, the interface connection. The interface connecting to the internet. Right here, you can see we have... Um, RG45 jack and you have the mate control over here okay so this is where the interface connect to the inner uh, to the internet or the hardware connected to the internet to communicate so you can see it online and see it anywhere in the world with the help of this guy with the help of this guy here that's the flexnet DC Okay, FNDC and with the hub. This is the one that control has all the connection, all Ethernet from the charge controller, from the charge controller, the inverter, and all the way to here 
there and here okay all right stay tuned this is the may 3 live at the jw solar usa thanks for watching like and subscribe we're gonna have this disconnected by pressing it's a little uh lever right here squeeze it and pull this thing out and this one is out so this is gonna go retire now or for the next project whatever i'm gonna do i just got this one not too long ago i think a year or half a year check the video on the playlist on outback you will see like and subscribe if you need um, this product contact me and we'll talk about it if you can um, give a better um, offer then it's all your yours so so mind you don't think it's cheap it's not cheap so check it out on the web and see but these are not cheap product okay so this is the new Mate 3 S and we're gonna be installing okay so now we got this thing here sitting here and um, so you can see it properly and uh, it comes with the RJ45 cable here but since we already have one on the system we save this for the next project so this is what it is and we can go about it and take this thing out get all the uh, bolts out of the way we need them can lose them and I'll just do my special operation like this and get this guy out so someone will say, why didn't you just use a blade or razor and cut the thing off? It's going to be easy to get it back snuggled in there or to store the old one in there. So this is the Mate 3S. So the Mate 3S, like I said, doesn't come with a cover for um, this guy here, the Mate 3 which is this guy here. So it will be a nice uh, comparison. While um, one of my viewers suggested earlier, like, um, let me do a comparison on the two devices and see how, which one works better or which one is good or what are the uh, commonalities and what are the differences on this so and um, thinking about it it might be a future video coming up on that live here at the JW Solar USA these are all the mates so the mate 3 and the mate 3s so if you haven't got um, a close look into these devices or into this um, interface this is how they look like I hope um, this one's help a lot like and subscribe JW Solar USA live at the command center so this is the uh, cover I was talking about um, I don't think this one can work onto this see it doesn't the reason these are all gonna be another video um, the differences or pros and cons on the Mate 3 and the Mate 3S. This one is embedded with a magnetism or magnet. So still right here, the magnets inside or whatever is still here. And it, 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 it clicks and attach. Look at that, right there, it holds it. These are some of the uh, difference or improvement or changes that uh, Outback has made on their systems. So let's do this one here. It doesn't can take it nothing nothing no magnet here magnet is right there so these are just the pros and cons or differences 
right now so guys um, um, just keep that in mind this is what it is so let's put the mate 3 away and concentrate into the mate 3s all right guys um, this is what I was saying earlier I don't want to destroy the shrink wrap or the plastic so look what I did I took the mate 3 okay and put it back into where the mate 3s came from so it's now in the plastic of it or it's now on a protective gear then if I have to store this it can be safe on a really um, a stable not much movement into it that can do anything into this or scratches or anything that's gonna be scratches anyway because this is just life or this is just human nature or errors that we do accident so this one is brand new it's gonna be having scratches but look at that it's already in here and it's ready to be um, shipped to anyone or store this device away let's go back to our project that's why you don't throw things right away or when you when you get something you get so excited and destroy everything because packaging is very important when it comes to um, devices you never know you might have to return this device back if it's defective they want you to be to they want you to put it back on the original box or restocking they're gonna charge you a restocking fee that's why you store things don't ruin them or don't just throw them away just uh, advice this is not part of the install stay tuned I hope you like that let's take a close look into the mate 3s you've seen the, the back of the mate 3 and this is the back of the mate 3 s interface so look at this and read what it says and this is the RG45 Ethernet that takes you to the internet for connecting your device okay and this is where it communicates with the Ethernet, with the router, or oh, sorry, with the hub. This is like the router. Okay, so it comes in here and give all the display of your machines. So let's see what we're gonna do here. And take this wire right here. So take this wire right here and plug it here. Remember, there's a notch right here. You have to go parallel to that notch. There you go. Hear the click? So it's connected. So trying to yank it a little bit, they know that it's there. So let's take this thing and flip it over and stay tuned. While we're going to be installing this thing, um, I want you guys to know um, we handle this thing with care and put the thing in. There is the SD card, micro SD card that comes with it. Let me talk about it a little bit and if it's going to be useful to you guys. This is where it stores the information on the mate for a year or so. So if you have no idea and this is what it is, I think it's, it's supposed to have a little adapter or the catch right here. So I just took this one. I don't know if you can read it. Um, if you can read this. Okay. Maybe you can. Or if you can't, I'm going to read it for you. Outback is so nice to include um, a SD card, which they end up having a standard adapter because that's where he uses a Kingston. It's a 16 gigabyte. 16 gigabytes of storage a lot of storage this thing can hold you know and to store information that you need or maybe firmware update and all that stuff so this is the card and this is the adapter and just like a cell phone or anything and you can put this adapter and plug it to a computer plug it to a, a laptop so it come it came with a 16 gigabyte micro sd card there's a macro the little one underneath here the purple one and it's installed on the side of this mate 3 s make sure it's make sure it's plugged all the way in I was off the camera so it's already in there so if you want to do firmware updates firmware upgrade you know for the mate mate 2 um, mate 3 
Mate 3S. So you have the um, the SD card right here. So micro SD card helps a lot to store information. And we're gonna go back and have this guy since we already have the flexware for the outback is there. So what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna put back the uh, the bolts here, and that's the good thing when you get the same product because they end up working well. They're all the same. So stay tuned, and when I screw this thing, we'll get back to the video. Like and subscribe. All right, look at this. This now completes our install or our setup here on our command center how the Outback Mate 3S looks like on the command center. Tell me what you think. Like and subscribe. It's going to be a next video. We're going to power up this device and see if it works for the first time. And I'm not going to do it by myself. I want you guys to come along. These are all the components that need to communicate with this. Very, very useful, very expensive product with Outback Power System. Like and subscribe.